happening out for you guys once again. Three happening on the mat. Anyway, at the uh, 9.45 time frame, let's do a quick check under the hood. Three happening on the mat. Four here now once again. Three happening on the um, down, up 24 now, S&P up 2.5, NASDAQ up 6, NDX up 2, Russell up 4.5, futures just hit new highs guys, uh, nicely breath, 1.68 to 1 positive, NASDAQ is uh, 2.2 to 1 positive. Nice EAD line up 687. NASDAQ is up um, 710. Nice e tick is up 444. NASDAQ up 340. Core sector list was 15 over 10. It's now 13 over 12. For the bulls, internet brokers, retail banks, and tobacco up. Gold, home construction, oil service, and biotech down. Gold is the only sector down more than 1%, and internet's the only sector up more than 1%. And uh, Jumbotron stocks, Baidu, of course, new all-time highs. Amazon up 3.5, new three-month highs. IBM, ISRG, LinkedIn, Panera, Tesla, Google, and Goldman higher. Netflix, Old Nelly. Continues to move to the downside. Chipotle is under a little bit of pressure. Regin, Priceline, and Bajanidec also down a wee bit here. Still bit activity here now off the open here now. Once again here now, still seeing some bit activity here now off the open. Russell here, ladies and gentlemen, leading the way here right now into positive territory, up above a half a percent into trade, up above yesterday's highs here. Once again, we're watching here now as. Russell here, ladies and gentlemen, enjoying bid levels here now, guys. Once again, we're also watching here now as locals here, ladies and gentlemen, looking here now like they are alongside here now for doing some buying on the open here now, guys. Once again, here now, locals here now buy uh, some 1982s uh, up to that 1983 area. Once again, locals here now doing some buying 1982s and 1983s here now, looking long here now from those. Um, Ed, by the way, certain trades are a higher probability or lower probability ability of working based on the internals and the chart pattern. Um, it's something that we have seen over the weeks, months, and years of trading. Um, we don't always have the exact numbers. Um, you know, sometimes just kind of a gut feel like, for instance, the 80% 80, 80 rule, if that's going to trigger, I can look at the internals and know with a pretty decent amount of uh, certainty whether or not the 80% rule is going to fill or not. In other words, the 80% rule states if the futures open above or below a value area, then get into the value area for two consecutive periods. There's an 80% chance that it goes from one end to the other, right? And based on the internals, looking at that plus the width of the value area, whether or not that's going to happen or not. And then, of course, trades, Ed, that we have seen for a long time, for instance, like, a P, like an MBI. Um, this was a chart. That I bought way back here on the 11th of July. The stock was down about three weeks in a row. You know, there was a doji down here. There was about 13 or 14 days straight down. So that is, and this is just one example of many, um, but it is a pattern that's I call the basement window trade. And once you see the selling pressure stop then taking that kind of trade has a pro higher probability of working as opposed to not because the stock has been down so much. Something like a LinkedIn, for instance. Yesterday, this was a trade because we've seen it time and time again, Ed, um, that when pressure is being built underneath a certain level, there's a higher probability that it will continue to break out. Metals have been under pressure here this morning. I'm a three outfit at four. 
Silver, and again, we've seen it time and time again. Now, I'm sorry I can't say, Ed, there's an 82.6% chance that it works. Are you okay with that, right? You just have to take the trade. You know where your stop is out if you're wrong, period. Again, it's just doing this time and time and time again that we know that these things have a higher probability of working versus not. You know, we don't just make this stuff up. Um, market profile also gives us uh, great insight and information into whether or not, for instance, a poor high is going to be repaired. Um, like we have been talking about for weeks when the July 3rd and July 16th had those poor highs, right? We knew that there was a higher probability that those poor highs would be repaired, and they were over time. Look at the NASDAQ right. here. So, here. again, if, now, if you NASDAQ want, like, the exact numbers, start tracking them on your own. Here, you actually have your Track NASDAQ the trades, right figure out the winners, figure out the losers, Once and there you got your percentage. NASDAQ week here, guys. Again, we're talking NASDAQ here now, week relative to the other majors here. Guys. Hopefully that makes sense. Off the open here now, NASDAQ showing a bit of weakness relative to the other majors here. Now I'm at 320, but in on, I'm at 3 half. 3 even bidding out for you. I'm even bidding on, I'm at 3 half. You're already 3 bid. Read the bit now for you once again. I'm going to bit in on them at 380. These are local. So anyway, numbers coming out at 10 o'clock. I'm going to bit in on them at 330. Here now at 330. Here now once New home sales is a red star event, guys. So if you're trading the builders, um, like a Toll Brother, Lenar, Pulte, whatever, uh, XHB, ITB, watch them because there could be a move at 10 o'clock. Again here now, keeping an eye here now, NASDAQ continues to come off here now, NASDAQ weighing on the other majors. NASDAQ here, guys, somewhat weak off open here now and just barely positive. That flash right manufacturing and index, NASDAQ by the way, came out 56.3. And I think that's why the futures popped there. The numbers so came out 56.3. That's a four-year high. And my apologies, it came out at uh, 9.45. And I didn't give you the exact read, but I'm seeing it now. Now, I think that's what caused the futures to pop up here to 84.75, but they're starting to uh, kind of peel back a little bit. We're at AD lines are still somewhat, you know, mildly bullish. Ticks just hit a new low, but only down 250. We are out right here now, guys. Once again, 220 bit and out for him at 220 bit and on him at Paul from Barrel Beach, Florida. You are more than welcome, sir. And yeah, Stuart, uh, A R I A, if you can, give me a heads up on what your goal is with that one now. That area. It was a huge day yesterday. It is starting to, you know, fade though, come in a little bit. <laughs> Tom V. You have a great day too, buddy. And see what I mean? Futures are back to value area now, so that 80% rule may trigger. Happening here now for you guys, fading. I'm a 220, but now I'm at 280. Now once again, I'm at 82, 20, but now I'm at 280. Now I'm at 82. Uh, if futures are below 8250 at 10 o'clock and one second. Once again, here now I'm at 82, 20, but now now for you, I'm at 82, 20, but now now I'm at 280. 220 but an hour for you, half but an hour coming in here now, we're 82 half but an hour, papers guy, 83 off here now, locals are going to buy these, they have in here now for the most part the bid here today, 2 half but an hour, I'm at 3. Alright, so locals here, ladies and gentlemen, did do some selling at the 83 level, looks like they're going to take these here though, guys, they do have a paper offer here now, we're at 83 here now, looks like they're going to buy these. 70 bidding out for you, 270 bidding on them at 3, still paper on the offer here now, we're 2 out bidding out best here once again, 2 out bidding on them at 3, 2 out bidding out for you guys, half bidding out for you, paper here now is coming in here now, doing some selling here now, selling some halves here now, 2 outs are trading here now, once again, halves have trade here now, we're 2 outs to trade. Andre, of course, uh, let's see, good old Facebook. Once again, locals here now do some more buying, here now this time at the 82.50 level. Uh, first five-minute candle. Seller there. Two even bit an item at three. Two even bit an item. hammer three, shot up and then, but right back down. Remember, even if you took that trade over the first five-minute high, like I said, you got to use your open as a stop. You know, the open was 75.97. That high was 76.29. 
So there was uh, 32 cents of risk. Stock shot up to 74 cents and then fell right back down. And if you took it short, and again, use that stop as your open. And um, as far as like a fib or trace for a day trade, not sure yet. Um, you know, would you use the absolute overnight low to the overnight high? It's a little bit more difficult. Still watching when you get that kind of movement guys, there. Still watching here now as we have in, here now in other words, do we go here, here from the low to, to high? I mean, possibly. 50% fit would be around 74, I guess. Like I told you guys, this was going to be a little bit trickier, this uh, Facebook trade. That's why I didn't have any buy stops or sell stops. Sold some back light at 83 here now, but still watching here as they just recently did some buying here at 82.50. And again, here now they continue to be long sided this morning off the open here. Now we're watching here now. Coach, nice little pop Started to the upside. The stock has finally been kind of lifting here. itself up out of the ashes. From levels up above here. Now we're Coach hit um, you know, multi year lows recently and continues to lift to the upside. Yeah, Bobo, I saw that Royal Caribbean, I believe, up guidance. And RCL, Love Cruises. Is Number ripping. For you guys, new home sales here, guys. Schedule for release here. Now that's your number. And it's a, I believe, yes, yeah, another new all-time high. Is headed your way here now, and consensus is 400. Xilinx, um, which got hammered yesterday. Uh, here's a, here's, see, here's another good example, right? This is a decent higher probability trade, up over 42 bucks. Now again, how do we know that? From experience. Period. That's it. Seeing these patterns happen time and time again tells us that breaking up over that prior day's high, or sometimes it takes days or weeks to fill a gap, right? But that's a trade over 42 bucks, and then the stop would just be below today's low on Xilinx. So I like that, Bravo. The ATR is about a dollar and a quarter. So if you buy it up over 40. Two bucks, you know, your stop has to be like 41 or um, 40.75, about a dollar a quarter away. Um, but I think uh, even today's low, right? If it breaks up over 42, 41, your stop. You know, sometimes if it's acting well, you can move that, rip that up to break even right away. You know, here's another example, Ed, of a trade that I took based on a gap. This was this new skin. Huge move to the downside. Right. Bought the stock here up over 6280. I got filled at 6286, and the stock is now 6353. That day it even went all the way up to 6442. So again, it's acting well. Oh, so here we go, guys. Futures obviously here, guys. We're talking here now, about the now breaking um, numbers, I guess. Must have come out bad. Here comes in here now, of course, new home sales. Terrible. Once again, here, ladies, I'm in actual levels here, guys, coming in significantly lower than expected here, guys. Again, talking here now, guys, about much lower than expected here guys once again talking much lower than expected here we'll right. sell some light on that number there guys once uh, new home sales 406,000 versus 475,000 and, do some light selling there, guys. and the 80 percent rule triggered and now yeah going to value area low is a much higher probability trade now because it's not that wide of a value area. it's only three and a half points and we see internals decreasing meaning getting less bullish Trading here now, 960s are trading. Paper here now comes in here now, big seller. 30 times there, guys, at least. Paper a seller there, guys, at the 960 level here, guys, and they just bought those again here now, adding to it here now, guys, at levels below where they initially did some buying there, guys. Locals here buy. Paper here now comes in a seller at the 7960 level. Look like Goldman there on the sell side. Again here now, paper here now coming in on the number here now, lower than expected here. Locals still long. 